Hi everyone and welcome to codingjust.com. Guys, in this video I will show you how you can get runtime phone call permission from user and make a phone call from your Android application. So let's get started. So first of all you need to create a new Android project. As you can see here I have already created a new Android project and uh, if I show you my activity main.xml so here is an edit text and a button in the edit text we will enter the phone number and when we click on the make a uh, call button so we will uh, first check for the permission uh, phone call permission and if the permission is granted so we will make a phone call if the permission is not granted then we will ask for runtime permission now uh, go to your manifest and here add the permission so add the permission use permission and simply type phone and call underscore phone okay so that's it for android manifest and here uh, i will uh, create a method to make a phone call so private void make make phone call okay and uh, we will pass our number as a string phone number so i will just simply name it phone number okay with single m okay and uh, inside this method we will call the intent we will create an intent here so intent call intent is equal to new intent and inside this we will pass the action uh, sorry intent dot action uh, i think it will be action call yeah action call and we will uh, set the data so call intent dot set data and here we will just simply type tel which is main telephone and we will concatenate our phone number here so phone number and uh, okay so uh, this is the uri so i will just simply cut it by control x and i will simply type uri or uri dot parse and i will paste it here so now our error is gone and uh, below here we will start the activity so simply call start activity and for the call and then but we we will we we should not uh, make a phone call directly like this first of all we need to create a method for check the phone call permission and uh, create a method simply type private void check check phone permission and make call okay so the name is self explanatory and here what we will do we will check for the phone call permission so if activity compared dot check self uh, permission main activity dot this and below here uh, simply time manifest dot uh, permission dot phone call phone and if this is not equal to package uh, manager for package manager dot permission granted so if it means that if this is and if the phone call permission is not granted we will request a runtime permission so to request a permission simply type activity compare dot request a permission pass the activity name dot this and uh, in the second line simply type new okay new string array and in the array pass manifest dot uh, permission dot uh, call underscore phone and here we need a permission code so i will recommend you to store your permission code in a variable so uh, private static final i we will make it only final final integer and i will name it uh, phone permission code okay and it will be equal to one or anything you want okay so this will be the integer value so what we will do we can also pass it uh, like here request code but we need this request code in on request permission so uh, it is recommended to store it in a variable so type the phone permission code here and if the permission is granted this is the case if the permission is not granted okay so we will request the runtime permission by this line this is the uh, permission request line and if the permission is already granted and then we will what we will do now uh, we will create a phone call 
and uh, we need to get the data from the edit text so i will just simply add a double zero and i will concatenate okay and uh, let me uh, store this in a string so string dot uh, i will call it number okay and uh, what we will do we will get the data from edit text so main main binding i will i'm using view binding here so i don't need to create the find view by id or something like that so i will i will directly uh, access that dot get text to string and here i will create a check here if number dot is empty so i will uh, add the not sign here if the number is not empty so i will make this phone call okay and what we will do i will just simply pass the number here so what 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 it will do it will get the data from our edit text from this edit text and it will assign the data to this number and we will check if the number is not empty then we will make a phone call so what we will do now we will override a method on request uh, permissions okay and here first of all um, we will check if the request code is equal to phone storage code okay and we will check if grant result dot length greater than zero and grant results index zero is equal to package manager package manager dot permission granted so it means the permission is granted when we ask the user so it will check if the runtime permission is granted or not so what we will do i will just simply uh, copy it from here okay and uh, we can also uh, get this number in our on create method and uh, but uh, leave it for no we can also access it from here okay uh, if the permission is denied so what i will do i will show a toast message here so the toast message will be uh, phone phone call permission denied okay so i will simply ask you please allow permission to make okay that's it and now what we will do uh, we will we will uh, call this method in our on button click okay so what do you do check permission and create and make a phone call now i will run my application okay so here as you can see this is our app is running and i will just simply type one two three four five six and it will concatenate the double zero with uh, this number okay now if i uh, if i click on this make a call so it will ask the permission hello phone call permission to make and manage phone calls the phone uh, phone call permission is our application name okay so if i click on don't allow so it will show a toast phone call permission is denied and if i click again on this and i allow this so it will uh, create a call yeah it is working as you can see here uh, it is making a call to double zero one two three four five six so that's how you can implement a phone call in your android application and that's how you can uh, request the runtime phone call permission in uh, your android application so if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and uh, the bell notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos